Hi, and welcome to this episode of Learn Everyday English, where we use words, phrases, and real-life situations to help you learn and improve your English. Today we're going to be uh, going to the gas station, or sometimes you might hear the word or term service station, but more typically we say gas station here in the U.S. So if you like this channel, please hit the like button. Also subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can be alerted when we upload new videos. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, I'm in the car now and um, getting ready to go to the gas station, but I want to show you, I guess, why I need to fill up the tank, as we say in English. I need to fill up the tank because there is a low fuel light or low fuel indicator that is showing on the uh, dashboard, the dashboard or the display. So as part of the car, this thing here, which where my hand is on, is called the steering wheel. So this helps me steer and drive the car. But in front of the steering wheel, there is a, what we call a uh, gauge cluster, a gauge cluster. So what I'm looking at now is the uh, speedometer, which tells me how fast I am going in miles per hour. And uh, above that, as you can see here, are some other indicators. So on the left is E, it means empty. The right F is full. And there is a, uh, some bars below that go from F to E and I only have two bars left showing me that uh, in the gas tank indicator below the letter E is on. So that means I have low fuel. And as you can see here, this indicator is telling me that I have low fuel. Let me press this other button. Okay, and this is another display and this tells me uh, actually how much gas I have left. You can see uh, there's a line that says average fuel. That tells me the average miles per gallon that I get on this vehicle, which is 32.9 miles per gallon. But below it says range, range. And the range tells me how many miles more I can drive before I run out of gas. So it's telling me that I can only drive 25 miles and then I will have no more gas in the gas tank. So I really need to fill up pretty badly, pretty badly. I really need to fill up now. So let's head over to the uh, gas station. Here we are arriving at the gas station. This is a pretty popular uh, gas station. They have signs here as you uh, drive up. Here's a sign that is saying, advertising they sell milk. A gallon of milk is $2.89 a gallon. They also sell bags of ice so you can small and large ice bags you can see here on this side and the sign here in front of me is this is a shell gas station that's the company that i think provides the uh, the gasoline at this gas station there is also a store or we call it a convenience store where you can buy items that are convenient so you don't have to go to the main grocery store. So here you can get things like milk and bread and cigarettes, candy, ice. But this uh, sign here uh, lists the price of gasoline and uh, regular gasoline as you can see here 
is two two dollars and fifty three and nine tenths cents so it's really two dollars and fifty four cents a gallon for regular gas they also sell diesel fuel we say diesel fuel at about two dollars and ninety cents a, ga a gallon and you can see they are advertising that they have clean restrooms or bathrooms restroom is just another name for bathroom they also have a hot deli and grill deli is just another a short way to say delicatessen which is a place where they might sell uh, sandwiches and things like that grill they have uh, maybe hamburgers and hot dogs and french fries and i know here they sell um, other types of food here i've heard it's pretty good i haven't eaten here they sell uh, Mexican food. Uh, here there's another sign that says they sell cigarette cartons. Cigarette carton is just a big box with a lot of packs of cigarettes. They also, this sign says ATM which is automated teller machine. This is, that's a machine where you can use your bank card to withdraw cash. Withdraw cash. Here they are also advertising, enjoy our super clean restrooms, so men and women. And here they have another sign which says fishing and hunting licenses sold here. So if you want to go fishing or hunting here in the States, you need to have a license. So you can buy your hunting or fishing license here. So let me park at one of these uh, fuel pumps we call it fuel pumps or gas pumps so this is a fuel pump or a gas pump and I'll get out and uh, fill her up as we say in English or fill up the tank so to fill up the tank the first thing I need to do is uh, open up the uh, door to the uh, fuel inlet area where I can put the what we call the nozzle of the pump so I have to push this button and that will open the uh, door so I can access the uh, filler tube so I can put the gas in so this is a standard um, gas pump there are three uh, different types of gasoline there's regular gasoline at 87 octane there's called a plus gasoline which is 89 octane and then there is V power which is 93 octane so you can see the price increases as the octane increases they also sell diesel fuel so diesel is about two dollars and ninety cents a gallon regular gas is two dollars and fifty four cents a gallon Plus is three dollars and thirty-four cents a gallon, and V Power is three dollars and fifty-four cents a gallon. So what I need to do is just slide my credit card into this credit card reader, and then I'll follow the directions. It will ask me to uh, input my zip code, and then I can uh, fill up the uh, the tank. So here is the door to the car. I pop, when I push the button, this released this uh, flap here, or this cover, and I can open this up, and I need to take off this cap, a filler cap, and inside is the, uh, the tube that leads down to the gas tank, and I will put the gas pump uh, nozzle, we call it, the, into the filler tube. So now I'm going to... Uh, Put my card in and then we'll I'll take it uh, after I do that we'll continue okay I put my uh, card in and it's asking me the, if this is a debit debit card which is different from a credit card a debit card means that it takes the money directly out of your bank account or you can use a credit card so I'm gonna say no and ask me to enter my zip code so I'm going to do that. So I entered my zip code. It said approve. Now it's saying one moment please. Now it says lift the handle. Push button to select fuel grade. 
So this is the handle. I'm going to lift the handle, take it out. Then I need to select the grade of fuel I'm going to use. I'm going to use the regular, so I just push this button, 87. Everything zeroes out. It told me to begin fueling. So the end of this pump, this is called the nozzle. I'm going to stick the nozzle into the uh, filler tube and just press the handle. And now it's uh, filling up with gas. You can see the uh, the pump is moving. At the top is the amount of money that I'm spending and uh, below it is the number of gallons that's going into the tank. I know this tank holds about 14 gallons so we'll see uh, what that's going to uh, end up at. Well, the pump stopped, so it was 10.5 gallons, and it was $26.68. So now I need to, uh, so now I just remove the uh, nozzle from the uh, filler, the uh, tube, and put it back into the uh, holder here. And now the screen will come on and tell me what to do. Is one moment, please. Do I want a receipt? I usually say no, and it says thank you. Please come again. So that's the uh, process to fill up uh, the tank and go to the gas station. As you can see behind me, there's a this gas station has a convenience store, and it's called Smiley's. Like I said, you can get um, a lot of things here that. You can run to, say, real quick if you don't want to run to the grocery store or supermarket, you can come here. So we're going to drive by the uh, convenience store so you can see kind of what it looks like. The front, but on the windows it tells you uh, the different, there's a lot of food uh, you can buy here. So it says daily lunch specials, taco plate, giant homemade hamburgers, fried chicken, tortas and Philly cheesesteak, and serving breakfast, burritos and croissants. Here you can uh, buy bags of ice. And they also have uh, what we call uh, propane tanks that you can uh, write here. Blue Rhino propane tanks, which you can either rent or buy. So as we are leaving, this sign says uh, tobacco shop. So that means they sell like tobacco products, cigarettes, cigars. Here it says a huge wine selection, so they sell wine. We do appreciate your business. We do appreciate your business. It's like thanking the customers. So I hope you enjoyed that tour or this outing going to the gas station and convenience store. back from the uh, gas station and it's just down the street or down the road as we say in English so it didn't take long. I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, trip to the gas station and saw the convenience store and uh, hope you liked the video. If you did hit the like button also hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell so you can receive notifications when we put up new videos like this and also tell your friends to get the word out and we'll be bringing you uh, more videos like this. We may increase the uh, videos that we put up to maybe twice a week because I think uh, people are showing interest in this. So again thank you for watching uh, this episode 
of Learn Everyday English. Until next time, see you later. Goodbye.